Okay, so good morning and good evening, everybody, and welcome back in today's class. Okay. So today we are going to be discuss the next step in the yesterday topic. We're discussing about the table. Let me see. I'm not sure that how many of you actually work on the table creation or the do the exercise. Okay, I don't remember the password. Let me. Give me it. So, so if I am not using my instance, then it will go in the hibernate form and I have to wake it up again. So I'm opening it now. <clears throat> so we saw that when I created table. OK, let's say I, I extended the task table and now I created a new table called the LNG. So what is the a field which is coming as a number 71? Because we notice, we saw. Let me see if anybody done the practice today. See, nobody done the practice other than me. OK, no problem. Maybe you, you will you will do it today now. OK, so the question is that. What is this number 71 field? That is important. That is actually important to understand that what is that field? OK, so every table. And every field has a unique identifier which has been used by developers to do some matching to do some condition match matching or to do some kind of a filtration part or to run some some logic so if i want to know that what is the 71 field because 70 fields are coming from the Task table that is that is true because we extended the task table. So now if I if I open this tables again, let's say I create a new table. And let me put LNG LNG. OK. Now I did not extend this table. Let's say I do not want to be extended from any other table. In the menu, I am not want to use it. I want to use the old menu only. Learn grow. And now if I click on the submit or save. Now you will notice that these are the six field. Which is given by service now out of the box for every table. So these fields we did not create. Did, I'm sure you noticed that I did not create these fields. Then from where these fields came. It is service now out of the box functionality. These I can see these are the system fields. Like we have a system table. These are the system fields. which are get created via. Autom automatically when you create a new table. But now what is what is the extra field has been created here? So what I will do, I'll go and. Do the next. Now maybe you have a question. Atul, you are experience holder, right? You know the things. How we should know that what is the new field has been added here? That, that is the, that is the major point because that is the intention I want to be give you. Don't think I know everything. So now what we can do, there are two ways. Either you can go by this way and let's say go to the last page. And then you will find out. So this is the field which has been. Given by service now. 
it is not the part of the task table no or maybe what we can do you can go and column u underscore this is nothing or let's say uh, dictionary entries reference let me sort by reference and this and then go to this so it means that see these are the reference means it is not reference from any other table these are coming from the task table itself and these are the fields coming from the different tables and now if i go next I guess I missed out that one UI sys underscore UID sys ID. Now the question comes, Atul, what is the sys ID indicate? If I search here with the because this is an important concept. So now you can see two sys IDs are appearing. Why? Anybody has an idea why? Why two sys IDs are appearing? Let me try to pull any other thing here. Table, yes. And now you will be able to understand this. This is the field I'm looking for. See this one. So out of 71, one field has been created by the LNG batch 10 table by itself. So now if I remove this this concept, this particular thing, now let me show you the actual part which I'm looking for. Now how you will identify that which field is coming from which table? Again, same question. Atul, you know because you have experience how we should know. So add a field called table, add a column called table here. And now you can see all the fields are coming from the table task because we have extended it only this field is be created on the table called lng batch 10. now the question come why two fields are showing by this name because one sys id is referring to the task table from where you extend it and one is referring to your one The question is that what is this ID? So if I'm not wrong, when we study in school, in colleges, a unique identifier has been assigned to us. Maybe it's it can be your university registration number. It can be your rule number. So let's say Ola is, is studying in a college. In his class, there are three person with the name Ola Mint Martins. Sometimes it's few names are very common. Like in India, Ram, Sham, Ashok, Piyush. These are very, very common names. So let's say in his class, Total three students with the same name, Olamid Martins. Now, principal said to the PN, go and bring Ola, Olamid Martins from that particular class. PN came and announced it. Hey, Ola, principal is calling. All three students with the same name get, start, get stand up. And all three have the same question. Which Ola? Ola who, who is staying in the postal code S6 or the Y6 or N Y6. Let's see the, the, the Ola who is staying in the postal code N6. Out of these three, two are staying in the same postal code. You gain confused. Then the class teacher says or the other professor says 
what is the roll number you're looking for? Or what is the decision number you're looking for? And this is what the unique identifier come into the picture. Now, if I say in the incident table, let's say I have a number field. And on the task table, I have a number field. How you will identify which is the number field referring to sys, sorry, task table and what is referring to the incident table? Only and only by a sys ID. If you notice here, this thing, this is sys ID. Now the question comes, Atul, only the tables have a sys ID. No. Sys ID is 32 length long alpha numeric. Every every component in service now has a sys ID. Every field in service now has a sys ID. This sys ID is referring to the table sys ID. If I open this, and it has a his own sys ID. So it's open the table name with. show XML. See, With the help of the CSID, you can identify that which field I'm talking here. If you get confused, find out the CSID. Your problem will be solved. So this is this is what we are discussing yesterday. That what is the number seventy one column, which is given by service now for this table. So now this society and this society, name same, type same, but the reference are different. You cannot bring easily sys ID in this particular place in the search in this part as a column. You cannot bring it. There are some techniques to do that part, but I'm not sure because I use this concept earlier. We have a sys ID on the table level on the column level. You can search. If, if I put like this, let me open this in the another window. Let me like this. No, not open another window. I'll, I'll show you that part. Okay, so this is the thing that we have to be take care. Now let's come to this, this particular table. Okay, because this table is not extended from any other table. Now let's create a field here. So if I open this, what all are these called? These are called the fields, attributes of a table. Or in service now world, these are called the dictionary entries. These all are the dictionary entries. These all. All the fields you are able to see. These are called the dictionary entries. And now we'll create our form here. So as of now, this table LNG and LNG. Let me go here and search. LNG and LNG. Let me refresh my page. Sometimes it did not reflect immediately. OK. So we can find it. Now let me open this in the another window. Click on the new. 
nothing is coming. Why? Because it don't have any field. But Namrata is confused. Atul, how you can say it don't have any, any field? Any dictionary entries? It already have a six field. Now let me put a question up front to you. Let's say Namrata invited his friend or her friends in the for a lunch. For a family get together. So she invited one of her best friend. Her husband invited one of his best friend. By any time in this discussion, in this get together, did you tell that this food has been created by me? This food has been updated by me. This drink has been created by me. We never tell. It has been assumed that the person who is in the kitchen, he's, he is the only one who make everything. The same logic put has been here. Service now say why you want to use this or show this form or show these fields on the form level. Because these are the one which has been updated automatically. Created by whose name should come? Who create this form? when it has been created when has been updates when has been updated by and what time it has been done why you want to show this thing to anybody when these are the system generated but rajesh is not happy he says i want to be show okay let's do one thing if you want to show, let's go here. Click on this all and click on the new. The same way, LNG, LNG like this. Okay. If you want to make a change is no problem. Click on the new here. And now right click. Configure. Because now you're doing a setting on the form level. Form. Let's say design. First of all, let's say design. Easy. So now the form you're able to see it has been built by this manner only. So like this, it has the two section one and two. Then one length, one length. Then they have some some break, and then they have some these options. Drag and drop. Column one, column two. I said two columns. I need. Okay, lo. Created, updated. Happy? No, no, no. I want more. Okay. Add one more. Updates. Updating by. Happy? No. I want something more. Okay. Chalo. Add one more. Now it's a single column I want. Okay. Activated. Okay, let's remove this two. And one more. I want to do this thing is okay. Single column, a ah, single column I want. Add one more. But Rajesh is not happy as of now. He said, Atul, see, it is mentioned the notes, it is mentioned the written record. I want to also do this part. Okay. Come here. section welcome hello goodbye and now click on the say but atul come on don't 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 make us fool is there any way I can create the field here itself? Yes, you can create. Let me add one more this thing section. And now you can create a new field here as well. 
Atul, I want to put a date and time. Drag and drop. Right click. Sorry. Click. Date of. Mandatory. Yes. Chalo. Then what you want to show? Name. Let's say. String. See. This one. OK. Label. Name. Name. Default value. Root mode. Mandatory. Yes. Chalo. Done. Now save. This is the first way to create a form and add the field. Now I go here and reload my page. Wow, Atul, it's look awesome. This is what we want to be achieved. See, these are the system generated fields are blank. If you open this, See, nothing is more to be displayed here. Because those fields have some other way of working. Date of birth and name. The first way to do this part. Second way. Go here and now I, if I refresh my page here. See, <clears throat> these are coming. Cross means this is being created by you as a user. And if you put let me add a table name here. Table reference. Oh, let's see name. Type. Okay. No problem. Now, if I do, I'll come here <coughs> and add a new field here. What do you want? I want education okay what type of you want i want it should be a choice okay it's a choice it means you have to create the choice values as well that is an important point right so now what i will do i'll first save this in this way, if you do this way, the the major problem is that you if you reload this page. You will not able to see this field. OK, it's coming. Wow, it's coming. Good, good, good. It's checking by default on that particular part. On the section number one. Now the problem is that there is no drop down value. What to do? Another way come here. Configure. Now let's go to the form layout. Another way to create the field entries. So now you can see these many fields are appearing. And here we we'll do a little bit good formatting. Begin split and split. Let's do some little bit good work. Okay. And we are talking about this particular. These are the sections you can see here. Under the main section, I have a field called the education. So now if you want to create a new field, you can create it from here as well. Let's say father name string add. I'm adding the main section. I want to add a new section. Welcome. Sorry. Let me save this first. like this. Now go back to the form again. Grid gone because we did not save it. Let's go and configure and form layout. Main section. Okay, main section and put. Put some split. 
split means it's just it's just a what I can say to making the things little better manner. And save it. This is the another way to do this part, guys. I'm not saying that only one way. Service now say it's a user experience. So now you can see. These values still left. And now you can see a, a little bit formatting is there because of the split. Let's build the value here. Show or configure choices. We don't have any choice as of now, so let's cancel it. Let's go here. And. Show choice list. We don't have any choice list, so we'll create a choice list here now. If you want, you can create it here as well. Or what what I suggest, what I like here. Because this looks little confusing. Better go here. Configure and form design. OK, open this form design and where is the education here? And right click. And add the choice value. Create choices. Now two things you have to be remember guys. If you remember my example. Namrata is our new colleague. Namrata, can you introduce yourself? And introduction. One is for the formality. One is for the back end. Hey, can you give your intro? And can you introduce yourself? Both is going to be serve the same thing. But which you want to show to your users. That matter. So in this case choice. Which you want to show as a name. So now what we'll do, let's say education, let's say MCA. OK, let's say. Masters. I want to show you that what is the difference between these two. OK. And now. Close it. And save it. Go here and reload it. And now you can see. Oh my God, it's showing the both. It's showing MC and the master. It means the first one, which is as a name. Or as a, sorry, as, as a label it's showing name is used for the back end. So if you are a developer and you want to put some condition, you will you will use you underscore master or something master like this. This is the capital one is for the display to the users to the customers. So that they should not get confused. There are n number of types of field you can create. Now let's try to give a creating a field from here new. And here. You will find. Another way to create a. Field in the form level. Whatever. <clears throat> if you notice one more thing, let me let it in the meantime it open. Let me show you. If you go here and let me open this one. So you see this number is coming. From where this number is coming? This question has been asked in the CSA examination. From where this number is coming, let's discuss that part. Come on. Why it's not working? Or if it's not working, let's let's go here and do some different way of working. Let's close this. OK, so I said this is a called the dictionary entries, right? So now let's go here and search for the dictionary. Dictionaries. Because it is a field, it is a label. 
sorry it is a field is an attribute for me but service now say it's nothing it's a it's a dictionary entry as of now so we're the same place dictionary entry now click on the new sometime i did not respond not sure why let's come here and click on the new so here number one on which field on sorry in which table you want to create this field i want to create on the lng and lng lng this one yes what type of field you want to create let me show you like this this is important so total 53 type of fields service now give us like we have a data type and this thing you can call as a data type here, guys so you can see audio true false calendar choice color condition condition things currency fs currency structure decimal so today what is the exercise homework for you create the table which you have created yesterday create a minimum five five different type of fields on that tables let's say i want to go for the color label name i can say shirt color okay let's say max length i said 40 how you how much data you want to show you can put it here you want to make it as a mandatory you can make it as a mandatory you want to make it as a read only like there are the few fields which become read only how it's coming it's coming from there itself but rajesh I have a question atul i notice that after after clicking some on buttons then it become the read only those are coming from the ui policies which we will discuss later on okay there is a thing now if i go here let me click on this yeah. okay if you want to put you can put some choices as well if if it is a choice list because it's not a, it's not a choice list but still okay this one none with drop down none and suggestion i said default specify as a none to this and let submit this see it, it still did not open for me and now go here and refresh this page and you will find a new one shirt if i open it i can see that what this particular same place you are becoming same place now what i will do i'll go here and open the my table lng <coughs> sorry click on the new so now you can see here because we did not put any any kind of a choice list so it's not showing even though even though it is it is what i can say it is a color it is a color but how you put the color you need to do some some that changes here right so it's saying what choice you want to put red green blue yellow what you want to do so this is what we are creating now clear everybody till this point rajesh puja trevor Namrata. Any doubt, guys? Just go to Rajesh if, if you have any question. Uh, I'm good at all uh, for now. Okay, great. Okay, now let me come here. The only thing which I want to be again insisting, guys, is that please do the practice. Otherwise, you will you will fail in this part. I'm telling you very, very clearly. If you did not practice today, tomorrow you cannot answer anything to me. I can guarantee this part. So now if I right click on this configure, I can go to the table as well. The way we are working, right? We can do like this as well. So like this. 
Now if I add a new field here. Let's say. Same 53. Scroll down and check. Insert in teacher UTC time list. What do you want to do? OK, let me give you homework. What is the difference? What is the difference? Between journal and journal input. See over the time period by by giving this training. I change a lot of things in, in my in my pattern as well. OK, I, I also change a lot of things in, in my in my pattern as well. Earlier when I was I was teaching, I discussed the fields one by one on the form level that OK guys, this is this field, this is this field, this is this field. Now, even though service is so advanced, I'm giving questions to you. What you have to be do today? Important point. OK, go here incident. Right click. Configure and table. And here. Search for the type called journal. And see what this mean contain. What type of field it is or, or, or what I can say you let clear over. Total 95 fields. It will not take much time. See this field. Or, or if you want, you can do like this. See this field and their data type. It is very much important, guys. There was a question asked to me. That is, I'm, I'm putting this thing. What is the difference between journal input and journal list? I never heard it. Because no one told, no one told us that these are the data types. I said, where you want to, where is you are looking for this general list and general field? Then the person says it's a type of the field, dictionary entries. I said, sorry, I have no idea. He asked me, did you work on the incident management? I said, yes. Have you used the journal entries? I said, no. He said, this is not possible. That is, that is not possible. So better. Generally, people ask me, Atul, how we can do the practice? Can you give us a can you give us a project for the same? And I reply to everybody in that case, everybody who is listening, who is watching this video, or maybe later on it's they watch. If you want to do the practice, make a same incident form by your own. With the almost 95% functionality should work. Because in service now out of the box, a lot of things are there. Now let's discuss about the reference one, which you which you missed out. Let's say I go here. Click on the it's a table, right? Let's say I want to create a. Caller. And it's a reference. It's a reference. Now which field it should reference? Sorry, which table should reference? You go and put it here. I want to refer to the sys underscore user. Group. Chalo, group what length it should show? It should show 80. Is it mandatory? Default will no. I said, do you want to display? Yes, I want to display as a false. Table reference as a false. Save. And now click on the new. See, it's showing like this. Now you have a question. Atul, it's showing the something different. Yes. It is the color, but it's showing the group name. Yes, it's showing the group name. This is what the second question come into the picture. 
during the last two innings it has been asked atul which field which table we should refer it's not me who will tell you it is you and your customer will tell you that which data i want in this field do i need a do i need a user data do i need a group data do i need a cmd data which data i need in this field i intentionally put the field as a color and the value as a group so that you you think i am putting a wrong value yes it is just for the intentionally i am doing it here now let's create one more field here let's not create a new field let's go down and this is called the auto number or we can say the number maintainers the number you are able to see here right this one okay it's not form let me open it get ready for this friday test there will be friday test guys this number you are saying let create a for our table click on this auto number how you want to start this auto number i want to start with the lng how long it should be it should be for a seven digit and we start with a thousand okay see in this case no need to be get a field called number it will done automatically if you notice see it has been created automatically and now let's reload our page see it's coming automatically lng is coming from this particular place if you want to change one let's say i want to put BATC and I want to put this one. I want to start with the or sorry, I want to start with the one. And how length is twenty? I give the one example, and that was a practical example happened to me. Let it be reloaded now. I was doing a implementation for one of my customer. Okay. let it be load and see see how big number is okay by default service now give 1000 and the seven digit which we notice one of my customer says atul what will happen if we met this data like it's saying 1000 and 7 if i reach on this limit what will happen i said why you are worrying now no i am worried what will happen i said do you know that how much big number it is it is not that much easy to calculate starting from 1000 and total seven digit number he was not agree i said it will take years to reach on this number but he was still not agree no what will happen i said nothing will be happen his question was valid will service now stop creating the records if i i reach on this limit will service now notify me that you are approaching to the limit please increase or decrease the numbers or put the new pattern his ask was valid but it was not that much feasible because to reach this last number it take years then he little bit agree okay i'm 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 putting it as a risk on our our uh, this thing tracker i said okay you go and put it the, in the tracker but the risk is very 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 low maybe i'm not sure that the time it reach to the limit you are in the company or not i'm in the company or not maybe you're not in the service not that point of time 
you already commission service now or you already move to service now some other instance so people ask this question and now extensible it means anybody can use this table to create his or her own table okay one more thing which is important here create access control so let's example when you are logging into your new mobile phone let's say i'm setting up the mobile phone for my father okay i said okay dad give me your email id he gave me his email id but it's not working password is not working he said do uh, son do one thing put your email id and close it and configure it now whose email id is going will getting the all access to that particular device same thing happen here when you create a table a role get created automatically see the smartness of service now here doesn't mean that admin can do everything no yes i i agree up to some extent that admin can do everything but you can still restrict admin on that part if you want let's say rajesh created a, a table for the fees or the fine calculation he want that namrata and pooja able to just make a changes in that table no other table he cannot give the admin rights then what he will do he will give the table specific role to these two users did i create this this did i create this role no i did not create service no created for me by default it was true so they created it if you want no 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 i don't want this one i want admin can access this table put the admin role here it's saying you are swapping are you sure i said yes it it happens but now it's not be happening because earlier service now did not charge anything for the custom tables but now they are charging so you, if you are a good developer you will know that okay why should i create a different role a separate role for this table i know it's not going to be used it will increase my maintenance part so let's replace the role with the admin role and in the last section application access who can access this particular application which i am creating anybody can read yes see it's a drop down you have to be check number one i'm making it public anybody can use yes or you want to make it as a private private means only you can access swimming pool in my house is a private i don't want anybody to be access it but swimming pool in a public place managed and run by the government it's a public one so anybody can read yes they can come and use it anybody can create it's a risky one but you are putting as a true anybody can update yes and anybody can delete yes be careful when you're ticking this boxes you are making your risk very high let's say pooja joined a company she had no much idea about the service now but she has admin rights she go there she write something and she said oh it's it's wrong i added she click on the delete and delete the complete table now what you will do that is the reason these things are required these are not coming under the acl because rajesh is coming on the question atul you said there is a concept called the acl no we can restrict 
but as of now and this point of time service node did not give this option say you are you are a user it's your responsibility or accountability if you are giving any rights to anybody else okay then allow configuration access can someone make some configuration level changes on this part i said yes this one. and now i click on the save the the changes will not impact anything on this particular place now the last point of this form level if i scroll down let me let me save this one if you i'm sure i'm saying if you want to learn service now na there's no need to be go anywhere else if you want to do the practice just open the any of the incident form any of the form and talk about these fields now let me show you something important here if i right click and i go to the configure choices not here sorry configure dictionary see it's going under which table it's being in the incident table and here you can create the choices here let me okay okay see why it's not appearing anybody has any idea anyone has any idea why it's not appearing what showing as a this thing and not a table it is coming from the system property which property i have no idea but now i'm sure that it's coming from the system property so i will check and i will make it as a table okay now if i if you see that this is showing in the incident table itself incident table yes but it did not put as a choice it put as a string important point to be understand this is what i recommend to the to everybody who say that i want to be to the practice in service now you need to do the practice first you understand that what fields are given by service now why it is a string not as a choice this is important point for the for the understanding perspective so you can see here and here you can see the label which is available for the customer and the value which is available for the developer and everything has a numbers as well like sequencing number 1 2 3 4 5 okay this thing what i was about to tell in this this particular section that once you save your form and if you scroll down let me let me change the pattern yeah otherwise i am getting so much accessibility should it and not here in display put this put brick lines within the form now let me reload this page because we are habitual of the previous one it's still showing the same thing let me go here and again to differences accessibility reduce change accessibility don't want this special keyboard replace no 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 no, no. the form spacing showing the top why it's showing this this pattern okay maybe so now if you notice these things child incidents and other stuff like impacted ci these are called the related list see these are not these are the called the sections and these are called the related list let me let me try again why it's not 
showing me that particular format. Not this one. Oh. Accessibility enable graph. I don't want show form. I don't want enable special keyboard. Accessibility. I'll keep it like this only. It should show actually organize this in the okay in the classical form, right? Here it is go right. This one. So these are called the related list. Now, what is the meaning of the related list here? So the data, the record which you are able to see in this related list are the supporting actor, not the main actor. I'll give an example. OK. On an occasion of a marriage. Why groom did not go alone or the bride did not go alone and get married? Atul, it's it's what whatever question it is. We are we are social human being, social animal, and we want to be celebrate with our friends and families. Fine, but why you cannot go and get married alone? You go and from other party there is a groom will come, go and get married. Why you inviting the hundred of peoples? Because that make. Your case strong that give a feel to the other party that you have a family. The other party also invite the guest. By seeing them, you also get a feel. OK, the, she has a, or he has a good family. This is what the supporting actor. So you invite your uncle, you invite your auntie. You invite your grand uncle, grand auntie, grandfather, grandmother, your cousins, your brothers, your sisters, your friends. They are the supporting actor to support you that we are happy in your occasion. If you need any help, let us know. We are not directly associated, but we are able to support you. But we are able to support you. This is what the concept come here. It's called the related list. That's called the related list here. So if you see, I am on the incident table, but I have a SLA. I have a impacted CI, I have an impacted CI, I have a child incident. They are just a supporter to this one. And how I can bring these things on the form level. Go here, open the form, right click, configure, and related list. Click on there. So as of now, it's showing this only. Because I'm I did not extend it from any other any other place. I didn't extend it this table from the any other table. In this case, if you go here and right click and configure related list, you will find a lot of values like this. Why? Because incident has been extracted from the task. And task also has its own on related list. So it's bringing a lot of related list here. Now the question come. Can we create our own related list? What do you think? Can we create our own related list? Namrata. Can we create our own related list? Rajesh. Trevor. I think yes. Yes, we can create. But how? This is not a little list. This is a view name. It's not a little list. But how? 
let's say do we have any any module available called the related list no there is no module then how tell me how how i can create a new related list that is my that is my point see be practical customer says i want here to be see the incident table then what to do how you can bring it this is a, anything is there no nothing is there database close nothing is there then how i can create my related list important point there tell me guys i want to be i want to know these are the common common things by this way it is a relationship so when i say that rajesh invited his grandfather grandmother uncle auntie cousins in his marriage because there is relationship exist he did not invite me because i am not his friend or i am not his very best friend to whom he need to be invite there is no relationship between me and rajesh we both are unknown to each other so let's take example if tomorrow i went to india or maybe rajesh came came here or maybe ola or trevor came here in in uk and we are passing on a same road in the parallel or in the opposite direction but we did not see each other so we cannot recognize it because there is no relationship between us for me anybody who is walking on the street is unknown there is no relationship with them but if i see any non face oh he is my friend he is staying in my building oh he is his daughter she play with my kid this is what the matter here it like relationship i'll give you one more homework guys see don't don't think that i am just putting the questions because i want you to find out the questions the answer of this question there are type of tables which i did not show what is one to many and what is many to many the fundamental of these two is called the relationship read about this table nowadays in the market the demand for the business analysis is not what we are discussing or what what functionally you know the demand in the market is that the business analyst should talk with the developers and the technical team in the technical language and for this it is must that you should know that what is meaning of relationship how to, what is the def definition of m1 to 1 and men m2 m table men to many so now go here and click on the relationship this one and build a new relationship here what is apply to what is query from if you want to see let let do like this like this on a incident table i am applying incident by same column let's say task these many let's say change and now let's move the task here see okay only one 
this is what we have to find out where to apply and from which table I'm getting the query. So I'm applying on the incident table here. And from which table I'm querying it. That is this word. That is the reason I always all I always said. People ask for the question answer. People ask for the practical scenarios. I said go and just explore the incident form completely. So now you came to know, OK, I click on the new. I can create a new relationship. Let's say LNG, LNG and LNG. OK. Apply to LNG table. OK. Query from LNG batch table. And here you can put your code because it's an advanced one. So here you need to be write some some logic, some coding. We are not going to discuss that part and click on the same save here. And let let me try to reload this page. Are we able to find out that related list here? So you can see we can find out here. List. Maybe it will not give any result to me as of now. Maybe it show after some time. See. Let's see. It will not work because I put just none and there's a no value. It's mandatory for me. It will not work for me in that case. OK, but yes, we can do this part. Clear everybody till this point. Any question, any doubt, any clarification? Thanks, Trevor. Pooja, Rajesh, Namrata and Ola. Any doubt? Yeah, Go ahead. Some lot to digest, uh, Atul. We'll probably come back. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, it, it should not to be digested immediately. That is the that is what I'm saying. Why why I prefer to use my instance? That is the biggest reason. Because I notice nobody created the table. If I go here, let me not go up beyond user. Create it. See how many get created. Only six which I created. Nobody else created the different separate one. That is the problem because we're not doing the practice. I'm telling you from my personal experience, guys. I also took a training of service now. OK, there's a one guy I got it. So he charged approximately it was a time period of 2016. He charged 25,000 from me. And he teach what I'm teaching almost 30, 40%. I travel three hours, two hours travel, then go there three hours training and then come back and do the practice. It was Saturday, Sunday only. Saturday I tied up. No, no, it's too much traveling. I tired. I did not do the practice. Sunday it's a Sunday. Let me spend the time with family. Monday I forget everything. That is the problem. If you not do the practice now, you're losing the track. Even you will forget that where I to go and search for the table as well. There is an I'm, I'm always insist at least do a little bit practice. And how I know if my instance is in the hibernate mode, it assure me that nobody logged into my instance from since yesterday. It, it, it show me that nobody log in till in my in my instance. I'm not discouraging you. I'm giving the truth. We are just on the pace now. We are on the 11th or 12th day of our training now. Sooner it is going to be very hectic for you. I'm not remembering anything. It's, it's for everybody. It's for everybody. Not only for I'm not pointing to anyone else, any any specific. It's for everybody, including me as well. 
Sometimes I also forget some topics that were to teach. And you will not believe in that case, I go and check my previous video. OK, so please do the practice and yes to this R and a search the question which I'm putting it. I'm telling you search for those questions that will give you the a lot of new areas to be work out in service now. OK, G, here's a suggestion question now. There are two questions. Uh, sure. what, is, uh, what are the different roles in service now? Uh, and uh, example for BPC role, uh, particularly. Uh, OK, first is different role. What is the difference between BA role and BPC role? Mm -hmm. And that is, uh, does the BPC or BA needs to know uh, the the Technical. form level, uh, form level, at least or table <coughs> level, uh, no, uh, 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 information. Okay, so um, the first point is that these are the two different roles. Okay, what my experience says, BPC role is only exist in the service now world. I did not find this a role with the specific words in any other domain. OK, so the main differentiation that BA work is to be write down the stories. Which has been given by the BPC, so so I'm working as a BPC. What is my task? I discuss the requirement with the customer. That how best we can implement. What is the process best practice? What is the tool best practice? What is the module best practice we have to follow to implement that particular part? And BA write down the things in a granular level that what need to be implemented in service now. For a BPC, my experience, I'm again putting uh, putting a disclaimer. It's my experience. If you are a BPC, you should know minimum about these things. The form level at least. You should know that what is literal list, what is links, what is what, what is button, what is field. Maybe it's not bother to you that how technically they are defined in the background. I I I want I'm working with the BPCs who more than 15, 13, 15, 14 experience, 16 experience, 20 experience. And that that guy simply says, hey, I'm not strong in this area, but he's strong in the process. He's strong in the tool. He know that what service now providing to me. This is what the BPCs work here. Nowadays, if any company is hiring, they're hiring a technical business analyst so that you can support the technical team in the HLD, LLD, even though BPCs as a BPC, I also support. So my technical architect created a diagram. Okay, so this is the diagram. So I review it from the technical perspective. I review it some, sometime I review it from the process perspective. There's a loophole, there's a way, there's a, it's not coming, it is not coming. How you're calculating this part? So these things, these things we do. So it's, can it's, it's, but, so can a BA also plays a BPC role or yes, vice versa? Yes, 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 yes. It can play. But here the experience matter, the knowledge, not experience, the knowledge matter actually. I, I was promoted from BA to BPC. But I'm doing the both things now. I'm working as a BPC and I'm doing the BA work as well. Here the here knowledge matter a lot because you are the front face of a customer. For, sorry, you are front face for a customer. If you are saying for everything, okay, I will check, I will let you know, then how how you are running your workshops, how you are running your, your things. So BPCs are the one. See, it's, it says the business process consultant, even though it's not required as a technical, but from the business perspective. If today my customer say, Atul, I want to implement the change management or the incident management, the knowledge management, I said, okay. So as a BPC, I will not think just for the next or this particular quarter requirement. I will think from the next five year requirement as well. Where you want to use service now? How you want to use service now? How you want to use a change management, knowledge management, decision management? What is your automation plans? Have you everything on that area? So that I can build a system which at least run for a quad, for a good time. It's not like today I create and tomorrow customer say, hey, Atul, what you create for me? I have to update a lot of things. So we have to be thinking from that perspective. 
and for this you should know the basics or the or the roots of the of the service now this is what important there is a module called the csm and i i showed you that that in in the in our sec, second or third day discussion that if i am using csm and i am i am using itsm what license i need to be pay i think if you are a bpc you have to be you have answer for this one will i am going to pay for the two licenses one for the csm and one for the so let's say rajesh is using both modules csm and the itsm shall i as a rajesh boss shall i as a rajesh company person pay two license cost for the rajesh this question come to bpc how licensing work i want to know how licensing work what type of rules are required i saw in my previous experience there's a lot of go live has been delayed because customer was not clear on the licensing and when before go live when they say please issue this or please give us this many license then say no 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 i cannot afford this many license let it use the licensing part let it remove this role this is this is role let it do some clean up this is what the bpc need to be updated up front guys if you are using this you have to pay the license for this part cost and other things not required for bpc that is the sales person and the account manager will do but how these things work this is what this is what they are hire us so in one of my discussion when i joined um, i guess last to last company so i was discussing in a workshop they were implementing the change management i generally i generally work in itsm only not not other domains okay so they were implementing the change management so they, they are discussing okay in the change we need this 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 these things then i said no it is not a good it is not a good way to do this part customer says how you can say this part i said i know in service now it is not a good way it is not a right way which service now recommend customer was not agree then the process owner to whom i am reporting in the on site he says atul tell me what is your point i tell him and i put a, a word here see you guys hire us as a expertise the listeners because we have experience we know this thing if you implement x manner it will not work for you if you implement y y manner you can get more benefited because they hire us for that reason we customer hire because we are expert in that area okay so there's a difference rajesh and it, these things come only and only when you do a lot of depth reading studying exercising practice hands on everything you have to be doing that part okay, okay. yeah uh, one last question atul sure uh, so uh, how, so how do we know that you know a lot of people say right uh, that now we should stick to the out of box configuration or service now so now example in case of incident management form itself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh or in general like how do we know that you know what is out of the box and what you no know, additional you know, the customization somebody has done it is there is a similar view to schema uh, or a, uh, okay i'll give one example what are the applications available in your phone how you know um yeah i check Each and every day. You use, you use your phone twenty four hours, right? Right. I guess the eight hours or the nine hours when you sleep, only that time your phone was off. Otherwise, you use twenty four hours, right? It yes. means you explore your phone a lot, and you know that what is out of the box and what what you installed, right? That is the only way to explore service now as well. more you deep dive see the second part is it is not immediately we need it that how to know the first part is important how to know that what is available out of the box the problem is that we don't know this thing that what is available out of the box and we take talk about the customization your point is valid atul if someone gave me the instance that uh, rajesh from from today you are the owner of this instance how you know that what is customized i am saying if you know that what is out of the box you know the customization as well on the by seeing the form 
So when I join any company and definitely as a, as a BA and BPC, KT has been given to us. So I said, OK, to which module I'm managing? I'm managing incident change and problem. OK, give me the demonstration for the scene. The person give me the complete demo, the process flow. OK, this is this is this is this is. Then by seeing the form, I say, hey, this will you have created your own field. Yes, because I know that what is coming in the order box. So if you know the first part, second parts you already know. So the same example, glass is half full, glass is half empty. If you get that it is half full, it means you can identify that what half is empty here. So instead of going on the customization part, then no, you should go that what is available out of the box. Yeah, but in, in usually no, we will not get access to uh, no mostly uh, that you know fresh implementation of service now. Mm -hmm. uh, either you no, know, somebody has already implemented. All the, yes, 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 yes. We have joined a team in after one month, one week. So they might have already, you know, configured a lot of things. Yes. So, so in this case, you can refer to the process of documentations. There, every development team should is managing or should manage the technical documents, in which they mention that what they build, but they customize it. And rest, you when you use that particular module, you know, come to know this thing a little later as well. But immediately there's a no click where I go and click and say, okay, these are the customization I have, I have done, or this project already done on that part. By using by the process flows, by the process demonstration, you come to know. So so okay. So in that case, example, the the number of tables that we have, number of fields that we have, that we just showed column that we have. If we add that to the existing form, let's say instant management form. It is, it is not a customization, it is a configuration. It is not but a customization. Yeah. If you add a new field in the table, it is a customization. So removing, bringing, adding, deleting anything on the form level, it's not a customization, it's a configuration. So, so simple example, you move your sofa from the right direction to the left direction. It's a configuration. But if you remove the complete sofa and re rebrand this complete sofa in a new format, then it is a customization because you are changing the existence of that particular product or that particular field. So configuring will will not still say that no, this is not out of the box. So still, it is we are using configuration what... is out of the box only. Hmm. Configuration is out of out of the box. That is what I'm saying, Rajesh. You are you are looking for the second part. I'm saying you should look for the first part that what is given by service now. If you know these things, see generally the practice says if as per my experience, if I'm going a new company, if I see the change form, I can see, OK, these many changes and I know that these are the these should be out of the box and I can ask guys, I can see these fields. It is a customization. They said yes. That's all my work done because I know the first part. Then. Second minus first, I can get the difference here. And it, and these things, Rajesh, come from the experience and the practice always. Okay. So okay. is there a difference in uh, developer instance and the instance that we get from service now? So, for example, for instant management form itself, will mm -hmm. it show differently some additional fields or configuration, or it would mostly would no. be the same. Mostly, is, it mostly is the same. Now, now if, if I take example of this one, let's say let's go here. On an incident form, how many fields are you able to see? Atul approximately 20, 30 fields, right? right? Now, if I go here and show you the table. It should 95 field. Then where are the other 20, 30 fields? Maybe it's not available in the form but has been used for some calculations in the background. That is it. That is that is the reason I always put put emphasis on that part, guys. Why are you looking for a project to be complete? At least explore the out of the box functionality first. Are you know or do you know that about 95 fields that what is the purpose of these 95 fields? No. And then you say that I want to be I want to be work on the new project. Can you give me some some ideas about them, about these things? 
You can do the form design layouts, everything from here itself. Well. This is out of the box available. Now I, I give you this example, journal one. See, document ID. You will not find this field anywhere in the change in the incident form, but still it is there. See what it is doing. What is the purpose of this? This is what the out of the box function, out of the box called. It's document ID, column origin, but what it do? Go and open the incident form in the commit in the docs.servicenow.com and see what is this meaning. Then you come to know the actual things. And these things come only from experience. Nothing, nothing which I can teach in this 42 days or 45 days. Clear, Rajesh? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Okay, so let's take a break here now. Let me stop the recording here. Okay. And...